Crate and Weight is like the ultimate like duo for crate desensitization. And he runs away if he knows Whoa. it's crate time? Yeah. Okay, okay. But like, he can resist like, when I'm putting him in the crate. Got it, okay. <laughs> Down, but once he's in there, he's okay, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so when you need to get him in there, that's totally fine, I mean, like you have to get him in there. But when you can work on this crate desensitization like this, what you don't wanna do is push him too far past. So before when he was kind of, um, already apprehensive about it if his mind is on that you you don't want to push him to go there so basically his mind was all the way over here you want like his mind to stay present with you as much as possible so what I did then is boots so before just when I even sat right here right he wouldn't even come near so I just called him to come here and then instead of this is where a lot of people then are like come on crate I don't know how he wants to do it, but like when he was backing away, you know, where you want him to meet you kind of like mentally, so you should just kind of throw him off, like let him know like you worrying about the crate that's happening, going to happen, there's no need to like worry about it. So then I just had him sit down, yes, and get him comfortable here. So basically you want to get him comfortable here, 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 and that all has to do with like matching up with you mentally and staying present instead of being like, oh no, I'm gonna go in there. Yes, now I'm gonna tell him, same kind of concept as the bed. Crate, we're gonna use a command. Yes, yes, Boots, yes. yes. <laughs> good boy, that was really good. So when you use a command as well, the dog, I mean, not right now, he obviously followed the treat in there. Good boy but we're gonna kind of desensitize. He never goes in and hangs out or anything? He used to. Okay. But he hasn't in a while. But now it just means like you're leaving, right? So that's why we also wanna start feeding him in there and everything and really desensitize him of it. So once he starts catching on to this command, so basically what I first did is just treats over here, same kind of concept there. Let's start with the hardest thing first. Boots, crate. Just trying to get him to go in there. And so if he's not doing it, it's kind of giving him those few seconds to try to go in there without following a treat in there. Because then what ends up happening? Yes, Boots! Good boy! Is um, he'll start to go in there sooner and sooner and sooner when I give him that. Boots, crate. So no treat in the right hand. I'm just trying to like point, get him to go in there. Because eventually crate is going to mean you have to run in there, turn around and relax, then you'll get your treat. But always try it. If he doesn't want to do it, then we'll resort to this. And that's also what I'm doing. So I'm holding on to the treat now. Until he turns. Yep, until he turns around. Oh, and then he's laying down. Yes, good boy. Yeah. So that was really good. So if you ever, some dogs um, try to like, they'll go in, but then once they figure out that you're like luring them in, they back out. So if he goes to that, then you would go to something even easier than just throwing the treat back in there again, you know, or giving it to him then. But I think he'll be good with this. Until I have him going in there, I won't even start to close this. Going in there, just like running in there. Boots, crate. <gasps> yes! Oh, good boy! Good boy. Good boy, down. Yes. Good job, Boots. Yes. He's like, this is where I get the treats at. And when I do this exercise, that's the only place I give him the treats at, is in there. Good boy, come on. Yes. So also with the crate is a weight with it. So that's like the ultimate form of crate desensitization. When you get home, is he like pawing at the crate or is he pretty chill in it? No, he stands up and he just waits. Oh, he does? Okay, so this will be good. Um, the weight is really good for, again, like following a command, not thinking about actually like, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here. It's, he's following a command like wait 
and then we'll tell him, okay, come out. Okay, so wait is like, wait a second, and then I'm gonna release you to go. So that's what we'll probably do like when guests come, it's like, go to your bed, now wait, I'm gonna open the door. Now, okay, now that you're calm, you can come and say hi. So it's different than a stay. A stay should be, you stay here, I'm gonna go and do something, and then I'm gonna come back to you. So no release with the stay, but the wait is like, wait a second, now, okay, cut. So we'll do crate and wait is like the ultimate like duo for crate desensitization. Crate. All the way, you gotta get in and turn around. Yes, good boy. Okay, so then I'll introduce closing it. Boots, wait. So if he starts to go out, just kind of close it. And this is wait, like keep, I keep reminding him like this is what we're doing. I think he got it pretty good. Like, cause I think he's used to stay, right? Or some, you do stay. stay. Yeah. And when you feed him, that would be a wait instead of a stay. Cause there's the release. Like, okay, now you can go and get your food. Should I change the hand? Yeah, this is stay. Yeah. but this is weight. Now just switch to the weight with the one finger. And we'll do more with like the difference between weight and stay because those self-control exercises will be really good for him. Yeah, just the weight if he's going to be released. Crate. Yes, good. Weight. And so I just make sure he's sitting during the weight. So cute. So the ultimate, I mean, if he were to need to get used to the crate, the reason why like, I say to just do this is because he has so much potential for loving the crate because the fact that when he's put in here, he doesn't absolutely hate it and he can like even relax is amazing. Like he has so much potential to just love this and this be a safe place. And that could also be good for when he's like, okay, I need a break from like my little brother, like yeah. to just go in there, you know? So just have a place of his own. Um, and like when he's feeling threatened by the by strangers and people that come here, when he gets into those growling states, to have that safe spot for him will be so beneficial. So as long as we just, I mean, this is super quick to like get used to a crate. Like a lot of dogs are really like, I hate the crate, I hate the crate. So the fact that he doesn't, he doesn't absolutely hate the crate and he's only really been in it during bad time, you know, like when you're gone, yeah, like, I'd expect it's him to really not like it. Him. Yeah, but it's really not. He would just rather be out, of course, mm -hmm. but just with this and the feeding in it, this will become a spot and will be so beneficial for him.